recording started okay for before business into visa right there was no cash processing anyone can answer what impact this why it has no cash processing i will tell you what is this what is this tab first of all this tab is for your transaction this tab is for your receipt why this was not available for that business right? anyone can uh, get an idea give a try guys it's in your gl setup no one okay do you remember assign business unit function setup to assign business unit to like for receivable collections we have not enabled correct that's it so for receivables uh, what is the business oh, this is a business You can see here, right? Customer payments not enabled. Only billing and revenue management enabled. So try to get this BU in a low view of payment also, payable payment also. It won't be available. So that's the reason for that BU it was not. For this BU it is there. Okay, simple. Okay. start with billing and revenue okay first thing is split amount amount that divides for reporting purpose invoice over and under just this for reporting purpose your standard reports use this setup so you want to zero means all your invoice will be included in the report if you give 100 means only invoice above 100 will be included okay then coming in days in sales what is days in sales so days in days sales outstanding calculation how to calculate your outstanding calculation based on due date or add your outstanding calculation year by 10 days so this is also for your uh, reporting purpose then coming to sales credit person limit what is the sales credit person limit okay so when we create a ar transaction there will be a sales person it is not mandatory actually if we enable some option it will be mandatory you can see below right require sales person so any if you enable this option any of your invoices you are trying to create your sales person will become mandatory without sales person you cannot create a invoice or else if you uncheck this box that's okay so if you go to shop purchase a car or purchase a mobile the the particular sales person will say right 25000 i can give you a limit of 500 discount and all that is your sales credit limit so your sales person can give credit to your uh, value my product value like you can set him so sales credit limit percent limit is only one percentage limit is allowed or 0.5 percentage limit is allowed upon any product this is for any pro any invoice creating against your business unit but you want to do it at sales person level also we can do it at sales person level not a problem so again recall calculation what is a default currency print remit to address print to home country print on my default report if you go to transaction page there will be view image option that will give you a default template of your ear invoice to print and send to your give to your customer so should i print my remit to can remit to address what is remit to address my business unit address is a remit to address right i have an next setup for for the other remit to address okay remit to address is simple your business unit address is your remit to address where my customer want to remit the payment to <coughs> default country print what is my default country to should be printed there then application rule set what is application rule set and
auto cache rule set auto match rule set okay there are three different rule sets okay one is application rule set auto cache auto match i will tell you this one with a clear document of three as of now just leave it i will include here okay i don't want to confuse now uh, key differences are there application auto match auto cache okay so leave this one we'll come back to that one now discount basis how should i calculate my discount from my entire invoice amount or from my line only or from a line freight and tax same uh, line and tax not freight in not freight items and tax so what it is saying how to calculate my discount if you remember uh, in uh, ap itself is other side i guess so invoice amount means your uh, if your invoice amount is 1200 this 1200 doesn't mean your invoice amount right it includes your tax also should i make discount from tax no one will allow discount from tax right so tax is to be paid to the see in ar you will collect uh, your money thousand rupees of invoice 20 percent is tax means you have to collect the 200 and pay it to your tax authority who is your tax authority gst right you have to pay it to them now in this case if you allow them 10 percentage discount is it right no 120 will be calculated right so 120 calculated means 20 percentage who are you to discount in tax it's not right so if you want to use in some cases you will discount and the uh, you will bear that loss okay uh, loss in the sense you bear the discount also otherwise only lines it will not calculate in your tax lines freight items and tax so if you want to calculate on this three put it here line and tax only don't calculate on my freight and tax so lines only is recommended always and then allow unearned discount what is unearned discount so to to my customer shall i allow unearned discount earned discount unearned discount very small difference say your due date is today okay you have your purchase invoice before your customer has purchased invoice before your due date is today but today uh, you are saying before the due date or discount date according to payment term it will calculate right due date or discount date within the due discount date let's take an example this is your discount date if you pay within this 10 percentage discount is applicable for you if you pay after this 10 percentage is not applicable for you right so when you pay in this date itself it is earned discount when you cross the earned discount date but also you are getting discount means it is unearned discount okay and accounting will be different based on your receivable activity we'll see that so should you allow only any discount or discount is allowed earned within the discount date if you pay if you not pay and the customer is asking your new customer is asking you for the some discounts uh, you want to allow them to get it uh, touch with them right so you will allow only a discount discount on partial payment if uh, 1000 is the invoice is only paying 500 should we allow or not then this option any business unit to process receipts okay this one if you transaction uh, you create a transaction and against the transaction you have to apply a receipt right transaction is separate and receipt is separate here in this case we will not uh, in like ap against the invoice will not pay your uh, transaction will be separate and your uh, receipt will be separate you have to apply them both later okay so should i allow application of any business unit in the sense this is my 001 mbs business unit receipt created another business unit should i allow that to apply to this business unit transaction or not then exam exception rule adjustment activity adjustment activity for exception rule remaining receipt amounts application amount okay adjustment activity what is adjustment you want to make some adjustment to your invoice or change some adjustment to your invoice some wrong line corrections you want to make some adjustments and see you are you are when you set up adjustment and you have adjustment limits what you can do right any adjustments you can do but there is some exception rule some some invoice cannot be adjusted create exception rule and come and attach here so that some invoices cannot be adjusted exception rule adjustment reason okay, it's a charge or discount or refund whatever case it cannot be it's an exception then credit card receipt method 
So for this business unit, what is your default credit card receipt method? Receipt method will be created in a different screen and we have to attach it for credit card processing. This is bank account uh, receipt method. You want to default this option is for default. Again, you can change like uh, our AP setups. Okay, so header part is done. Again, this is our DFF. Coming to accounting, tax account, honor collect, revenue account, cross currency account. You see, like uh, AP, your liability. Here it's your receivable, right? Your receivable liability, uh, prepayment, and all not available here. It is available in a different setup. Your your accounting concept is different. It's your accounting concept is based on your auto accounting. We'll see that. Okay, this system option is generally a defaulting option. Okay. The main setup here is your transaction type, source, accounting rules, receivable activity. These things will control your AR. Okay, we'll see that deeply. I'm sorry, receipt method also is also very important. Receipt classes and method also. We'll see that. Now coming to this, provide your accounts. Shall I automatically general import or use a header level uh, rounding? Header level rounding, you know, right? Header level rounding, not at line level. Any rounding header, header level, you can put. Header accounting, uh, rounding account, you can give here. And days per posting cycle. How many days per posting cycle? So 30 days, generally 30 days. Or leave it zero, your accounting uh, team will take care uh, to enable that one. And enable multi-fund accounting, like your MPA in AP. We saw, right? Should I enable or not? Mm and then transaction tax invoice printing option okay what is tax invoice printing option my tax how should i print summarize by the tax name or some tax only overall tax only if you have tax summarized by tax name in the sense gst summarize gst summarize cgst separately summarize sgst separately summarize igst separately some taxes means in D gst level itself how much the tax that's it tax tax only line these are different different formats used for different countries not in our case we will use document number generation level see document sequence setup be done right document sequence setup and the document sequence setup when your document sequence should be generated when I save my transaction or when I complete my transaction like AP uh, we can save and we can validate right so that validation here it is called as completed your completed is your validation you will try to complete it you will do your validation job next this item validation organization see when it is useful you know uh, this should be mandatory given when you are importing any um, year invoice through distribution order orchestration what does that mean DOO they will call generally from the sales order if you are trying to import any your AR invoice it is from your DOO transaction source only DOO is nothing but it's a transaction source default transaction source used by your uh, Oracle for yes source to be interfaced I will come um, back as I explained in AP to P2P, I will explain O2C process also. We will just complete this uh, defaulting options. Okay. Now, then allow change to printed transaction. My transaction is printed. Shall I allow or change the server? Yes. See, why it is not paid? Uh, in this case, if you print and give it to the customer itself, it's a problem, right? So, you have printed something and your system has something. So, it is a problem. Generally, it will not be allowed. If you want to allow and reprint, you can allow it. Allow transaction del deletion. Enable recurring billing. If you enable this, delete will be available. If it doesn't enable, delete will be recurring billing. Uh, it's not multi funding, multi uh, multi funding account. There, are multi. What is that? MPA multi period accounting, right? Not like that case. This is recurring billing. Recurring billing in the sense, um, you will not pay it before. Month on month, you will pay. Automatically, system will create a uh, invoice for every period okay based on the recurring billing setup this too is very simple you can see transaction delivery using which email from email from from name which name from email reply to email for to which email their email they have to reply what is the email subject include my business unit or not include my transaction number or not you what is the email body type entirely dear customer please find your invoice number uh, of your purchased but etc okay so using this you can put statement when you send, send a statement to your customer what is the email subject you can give it here okay then late charges if you want to assess the late charges enable this and average daily calculation daily balance calculation basis exclude post billing debit debit items 
were billed after most recently generated balance forward building include post building debit items so late charges in the sense when your customer has uh, crossed their due date and you are going to put them a charge if you does this no one will come with your company in general uh, when they will use right this one they will use in banking sectors if a banking sector using oracle 100 percentage they will enable late charges okay customer uh, product based they will not enable this coming to this one exclude post billing what is post billing debit items after billing your uh, whatever um, activities you are done should i include in late charges or not include uh, exclude or include okay. uh, calculate average daily balances due date to run date run date to run date what is due date to run date see uh, let, let me put an example here your due date is today okay but you allowed him saying that's okay one this particular day i will not calculate your late charges and you are not running a program there's a program to calculate late charges you are not running the program today okay now you're running the program two days later he is not paid yet you're running the program two days later so now from this date only it will calculate the charges right whatever percentage you are giving it will calculate so now again still t after 10 days also is not paying paying okay so how should i calculate now from my due date to my new run date or run date to my new run date today i am running i am on 10th let's take 10th august today i am running so which from the due date i should calculate again or from the run date generally due date will be you will calculate two days you allowed again you cannot allow for due days in the calculation due date to run date okay so now when you charge a late invoice what is this what is a late charge it is a interest right you are you are you are getting an interest for late charges so when i'm creating an in interest when i'm creating a debit memo when i'm creating a charge activity penalty act art activity this is all receive this comes from receivable receivable activity setup where is that where is that one second ah here this setup we'll see that we have to create the transaction type we have to create here and come back and attach here for uh, in interest when i'm creating interest invoice not our standard invoice we are creating interest invoice for the late charges we are calculating so for that which transaction type i should use debit move charge means which i should use activity i'm not going to create an invoice just a activity means which are interest activity i have to use i will select all those things here late your transaction source which transaction source i have to use that's the defaulting option again you can select it manually now customer grouping rule what is grouping rule enter the default grouping rule to use if a grouping rule is not defined at the transaction source or profile class level grouping rule in the sense your customer uh you have created 10 different customer but these 10 different customers belongs to a head customer called bp let's take a real time example bbk electronics you know right bbk electronics chinese products we all use their product only like uh, realme oneplus oppo now they have merged some other thing uh, what is it iqq so all these mobiles belongs to a single company your own oneplus realme everything belongs to a single company it is called as bbk electronics in this case when you are a, they are a customer for you they are purchasing some chips from you so they will register as different right one plus they are registered as different other uh, realme registered as different but you want to group this customer they are the group of customers they are not a separate customer your bbk electronics yet generally your bbk electronics will pay for you but purchasing invoices will be, sorry they are purchasing invoices our customer invoice will send to differently so that's why first you will use grouping rule define the grouping rule and we set up your saying in the group rule this customer reciprocal customer what is reciprocal customer B in this case bbk electronic will pay for others reciprocal customer for bbk electronics one plus will pay one plus realme will pay so reciprocal they can make a transaction if you want to use that enable this or else leave it then auto invoice these options are purely technical to i, I will tell you this option this option i really don't know uh, bytes i don't know this one i can tell you bytes i don't know okay purge interface tables when you create an invoice we saw right like yesterday correct import errors the invoice table was there right interface table we deleted some records if you enable this only i can delete otherwise i cannot delete any record it's 100 percent recommend to enable this maximum memory in bytes i really don't know it's uh, what is saying here i don't know something rec uh, your auto invoice count uh, something will do. see when your auto invoice count is uh, auto invoice is running for more time 
technical person will uh, get a how much bytes running from the back end and accordingly they will add, come and adjust here so that auto invoice will be quicker to process log file message level your log files how much log file message level you want to get you can enter it here and uh, tuning segments they will again tune uh, based on which i should import uh, all those things it's a purely technical stuff nothing to do with with ours that's it about your billing and revenue section any doubt in this billing and revenue section okay fine. now it's about your see guys don't get confused it may be many things over here but everything is your default option uh, you will understand when when you are trying to create onion discount it will not be available you have to come here when you are trying to delete your transaction it will not be available you have to come here when you try to import a yes, so sales order based invoice uh, your auto invoice program will error saying uh, item validation organization is not there you have to come here so basically you want to handle any difference in transactions like how our invoice option payment option was there right in ap you have to come to this page that's it no no more impact on this cash processing this is again with your auto cash rule set i will explain this this also with your auto cash rule set this auto match i will explain this okay let's uh, okay let's leave it this section i will come back now coming to require billing for locations see when you enable this uh, when your customer creates your receipts it's mandatory to for you to enter in the receipt from where this receipt has been created which location mandatory allow payment to unrelated transaction what is unrelated transaction we saw here unrelated business unit kind of thing right a different uh, process any business unit so your unrelated business unit your transaction create your own business unit your unrelated business unit can apply coming to this this option it is quite different different they are unrelated business in it but your customer should be same but in this case payment to unrelated transaction in the sense your customer is different from a different customer you are applying to a different customer when this was useful when you create a reciprocal customer right so one plus you can you, you receive a receipt from bbk apply a invoice to one plus this is for revenue uh, when they enable some profile options are there for revenue management they will enable this okay coming to receipt rate of limit what is a write off first of all receipt uh, again we will see that if this in your uh, receipt screen okay what is write off first of all write off if you have 1000.5 okay your 1000 is your invoice some more based on some currency rate or something you have paid your extra you want to write off that amount you can use this receivable activity write off it put it in a separate account saying this is a receipt write off it's either it should be it will be your profit or either it will be your loss also you will check this one why we are saying i'm saying here is how much amount can i write off minus 10 to positive 10 i can write off within this limit okay you can enter it here again leave it blank there are separate separate setup called approval limits we can do the at that place also okay so guys gen, uh, generally when i start before the module i will explain p2p but i am explain the system option and then i will explain o to c reason is you listen the pt p2p sorry what is the cycle and these are the key setups this is just a defaulting setup that's why i'm explaining it first okay so coming to next minimum refund how much minimum amount i can refund charge back charge back due date when my charge back due date should be calculated uh, deposit date or entered date or open invoice due date or received it from where my charge back should be calculated and this is again your dff generally charge back uh, is created by your uh, it's used for your uh, credit card credit card kind of things right what is charge back in the sense a uh, credit card provider for rate to make a loss of fraudulent or dis disputed transaction what is charge back in the sense if you have any credit card purchase okay there is a fund refunds refunds in the credit card to purchase a buyer okay in in this case of return we we have to charge back to them right we have to uh send the money back or some cases you will use this charge back then allow payment deletion again payment deletion should i allow or not please one second sorry uh, okay where am okay from uh, we have seen this receipt of payment application exception rule again application ex ex exception rule is for your 
auto cash auto apply ji i will generally tell you what is auto cash auto apply you have a receipt and you have a transaction each and every receipt they have to navigate and they have to apply the transactions right so this auto cash or auto apply functionality will automatically do you like based on some criteria you have to set up those so at that case don't do automatically for this particular rule sets exception rule an exception rule right of activity right of activity refund so this right these kind of kind of receipts cannot right be right of this kind of receipts cannot be refunded so these exceptions you want to define means you can define again accounting realized gain or loss cross currency what is my rate automatic receipts automatic receipts is your lock box what is mean by lock box lock box your bank banker so in ap how we send a, a positive file positive pay files and all right we will send a file to them that based on that file they will make a payment in this bank will reverse send you a file these all payment has been received in your bank and i am confirmed with that so that what it will happen that particular file format will be imported in the system based on the file format system will automatically create you the receipts and it will automatically apply also i guess i am not sure it will automatically create you the receipts okay then now invoice per commits so when uh, uh, it should be then uh, for say so it should be automatic creation also then invoice should be i am not sure on this uh, auto lock box generally we not cover this but this one minimum threshold limit for your automatic receipts and how many invoice per commits per commit means per upload receipt per upload so you can maximum this or you can less this but a lock box is a file will be given by your bank just import it automatically everything will be created for you there like bills payable bills receivable enable this default your transaction source factoring what is factoring factoring is nothing but see uh, you want to enable factoring or you want to you doesn't want to enable factoring if you want if you enable the factoring means your bank will be responsible for to receive your payment if it doesn't enable the factoring means your bank is not responsible to receive your payment you have to you have to be responsible with the customer to receive your payment allow factoring with recourse is always recommended to enable that's it about your cash processing setup also any doubts in this team okay okay so visible system option again give a give a glance to this remember the fields anywhere you got stuck you cannot able to create a discount or create a, all those options you have to come to this particular page that's it it has no other uh, impact this setup has okay click on done let's go to so let's quickly see what is this remit to address just a, a, a address creation it's just an address creation click on plus create address based on your address set address set concept you understood right you have to go to business and set assignment tab so based on that create address this address is mandatory you have to create this otherwise you cannot create a transaction while creating a transaction this address is mandatory just to create address no one to be attached your invoice will be defaulted with this address based on your set defined in your business unit set assignment that's it about your remitted remit to address now let's go to what to see cycle okay anyone have a idea what is what is the cycle and uh, can anyone list me down the setups sorry process flows first of all the sales code will be created okay so after that it will converted into sales order perfect so after that the sales order is uh, a picture is a pack and ship sorry sorry come again the sales order will be like uh, picked up pack and ship okay okay perfect you are right so it is called as pick release okay. so after that uh, ar invoice will be created ship confirm then ar invoice will be corrected then receipt will be created perfect you are right this is your uh, Okay, this is your order. Okay, sales order in sales quote in the sense we'll create a quote. 
sales order we will create a sales order from the customer okay then we will pick release what is mean by pick release in real time based on the sales order a person will walk into the warehouse pick from the lot and he will release it to the staging area so once the staging area then ship confirm your truck or real ship or your, your flight anything it will come and uh, collect your uh, this one your load right once the ship is once your product is started to deliver to your client place it is called as ship confirm okay then er invoice er receipts okay after ship confirm whenever you sending a product you have to send an invoice right so this two are key thing when ship confirm is done quickly you have to import your invoice and you have to send to your customer so this is importing auto invoice is your quick key setup transactions okay so that's it on o2c cycle in real time case and real time case this will happen okay now coming to transaction types create one okay again it is controlled by your sets okay uh, not by by your business rate and also we can attach other business rate we'll see for why why that is useful i'm just selecting this one you can provide your legal entity provide or else leave it provide a name description class bills receivable or charge back or your credit memo debit memo invoice okay you have to select what is my class of this transaction okay coming to transaction types i will explain you how you should define your transaction types how people are using this to define okay uh, expense in ap expense uh, based how we are getting tracked based on your product right based on a product your expense account comes from the po right now in this case uh, your revenue or your receivable or your tax or your freight or your onion rev revenue onion receivables auto clearing account these things we cannot say from the single place this will accounting will default there is a setup called auto accounting rule we will see that that one what it will, what what it will happen you can fetch re for a revenue account let's take an example revenue account you can fetch your company code from your branch code from your customer and account code from your uh, salesperson so we can define that this why i'm telling this now transaction type generally how it will be created you know See so if you have a you are a OnePlus product uh, company owner, you are selling OnePlus OnePlus products. So based on your each product, it will be created OnePlus 10R, OnePlus 9R. Why? Because they want to track the revenue by your product. So generally, transaction types will be created created based on product or based on business line or based on line of business, based on departments, whatever it is your customer requirement. But 99 percentage I have seen based on the uh, product line business see uh, i'm giving an example as 10 or 9 or no one will create like that mobiles charges headsets so based on the type of product they want to track the revenue they will do they will create tra transaction type and always your auto accounting revenue will be picked up picked from your transaction type only receivable will be picked from your customer the reason is customer wise we cannot track revenue we can track revenue based on transaction type wise only, right? Team, I'm clear on this concept. Are you clear? Yes, T. Yes. Actually, transaction set, uh, this is new one, huh? Comparing to EPS. Yes, it is. It is new. We saw, right, that uh, uh, payment term at all, common set, everything. Okay. okay. The same concept. Got it, Ganesh? 
yes t yes okay the same concept wherever you see the set the everything same concept you are uh, creating set here the name and your customer level name should be same okay customer level name should be same okay so it works based on the same concept no more different everywhere you see sets it works on the same concept business unit will come here from ebs you will see business unit here not that case okay uh, then one second so um, coming to this class you have to select wh whether it is uh, bills receivable charge back credit memo debit memo or invoice okay uh, in our ar it is different right debit memo will be positive credit memo will be uh, negative so if i choose neg credit memo your status i'll come to the status if i choose credit memo your positive sign should be negative you have to choose this it won't default you have to choose this when you create pa with the debit memo it should be positive there is one more sign any sign when it is useful say uh, in the inter company i told right your inter company transaction type will be any sign why because we can create negative and positive also for that case we will use that any sign okay coming to status when i create this invoice it should be in which status pending status void status or closed status see uh, some cases we will, they will use pending and all charge backs for interest and all they will use pending but open is always your recommended status for your general transactions credit memo debit memo and invoice okay this is your decreed uh, invoice with a positive sign okay that's it from date to date you can message generate bill if you give no you cannot print your invoice if you give yes you can print your invoice So what is this invoice type and why it is created off? Now it came right. When you created charge back, see what is charge back? You are, you are going to charge back something, right? You are going to charge back a payback something. So the invoice type, so you can see this invoice type, right? Where it comes from? Your transaction type again. Okay. So again, which? See, I'm creating this charge back. For charge back, which transaction type? I have to create a charge back. So for this particular transaction, we have to create a chargeback. Create or else leave it blank for every transaction type. You can use this chargeback transaction type. Invoice, credit memo type. Okay, this credit memo type. When you create a invoice and you are trying to credit it, create credit. There are two ways of crediting your transaction. One is create a standalone credit memo and apply the credit memo to your invoice, or create a. Uh, cre cre uh, manage transaction in that action credit transaction will be there that credit transaction click on credit transaction automatically your credit memo will be created and applied it to your uh, AR invoice your balance will be reduced so when you want to use the credit transaction just to default you can choose your credit memo type here application rule set again you can give out your receivable set option and or, or else here also we can give that we will see that tomorrow the three key difference okay. payment term to default your payment term level of completion Control of transaction companies all line or line with negative amount none no no don't control anything let me uh, put it at system level options so is it open receivable yes always it is open receivable when you create a transaction right chargeback is not but uh, these kind of bills receivable are not open receivable allow freight or not post to GL or not allow adjustment posting or not what is my default uh, classification code should I assign any default classification code natural application only natural application only means you can open and you can apply your transaction or else automatic application only allow over application thousand is your transaction invoice number but your receipt is thousand five hundred shall i allow over application not exclude from late charge calculation anything created under this transaction type don't calculate any late charges for me no future dates with chronological document sequence there should be no future date transaction if i'm create today is my date i have to create transaction type today only i cannot create transaction tomorrow uh, system date again this is a dff this one you will select your yellow plus select your bu select your bu and provide your receivable revenue all these accounts we will see see same reference accounts this one is available at your 
transaction type level remember this guys transaction type level memo line level customer site level sales person level four places you can see this reference accounts okay four places you can see this reference account we will see in auto accounting how this is been fetched okay the auto accounting will fetch each and every segment from different places or else completely you want to fetch it here you can fetch it here we will see in that auto accounting group but remember this place from these places only your auto accounting will pick your receivable revenue all these accounts okay that's it about your transaction type so transaction type is what kind of transaction you have to create and accounting and all those controls are here now let's go to transaction source okay like journal source journal category similar concept only what is type of my transaction where this transaction comes from okay you can create your own sources and there will be some standard sources intercompany all standard sources and this all standard sources you will see a one important source generally we will see the, this one this is what i told doo distribution order orchestration invoice imported from doo in the sense invoice imported from your receive uh, scm supply chain management or in the sense sales order okay why it is called as do i will tell you one new concept see uh, someone told what to be ganesh babu right ganesh you see to what to be process what to see process is this right and we and we process also you explain me right? there is one more concept in it will include your what to see and it include your p2p both will be done at a single time okay i'll tell you Can I send getting echo when you are new? So now, okay. There is a concept called drop shipment PO. Okay, what is this drop shipment PO? Best example is our Amazon Flipkart is the best example of drop shipment PO. Okay, what does that means? See what Amazon generally does. They receive a sales order. right in real case in real time scenario we first do a purchase order we will purchase a raw material we will make make it to a, we will do a work order for so work order people will work on that then uh, what happen it will uh, it will calculate that this purely on costing side nothing from our side okay so then your product will be made then we will sell to the customer but drop shipment pu is different amazon they does not do this right they are just a brokerage right so what they will do first what they will receive Yes, so not the PO. Yes, so sales order they will receive from the customer. Once the sales order is received, this distribution orchestration uh, order orchestration is there, right? This particular this is not a transaction source. The name of the transaction source is DOO, but DOO is a bigger engine. That engine works in supply chain management. Okay, that engine what it does means when SO SO is created, based on the SO it creates a PO. right when we put a order amazon order it's a so for them right sales order and for based on this so they will raise a po with that supplier right the someone is delivering you not amazon is manufacturing and delivering you correct so they will raise a po with some other person once po done once the po is done then when when you receive it at the home the person will deliver right when we receive at the home grn will be created by the delivery person grn is done then they will make create a ap invoice once the ap invoice is done they have a 30 days of payment term so they will pay to the supplier after 30 days only at i think 30 or 15 days once the the, the refund policy is uh, over for the customer they will pay okay so ap invoice is done once the ap invoice is done they will run some programs back to make understand for the sales order that your item has been shipped and delivered to the customer so what will happen after this invoice will send us something so what will uh, you'll be so will be awaiting shipping awaiting shipping in the sense you are not picked and release and shipping so you, once the invoice is done it will hit your uh, supplier or sales order and your sales order will be changed to awaiting billing means shipped and it is delivered you are yet to bill to your customer okay then what it will happen they will gen while delivering they are generating a bill right once the 
sorry this one and will be not at the delivery person level in, in the amazon case this will be at your product when whenever supplier uh, they will what is it they will, the, the status will be there right out for delivery or a shipment or something delivery will be there while you order that time they will create ap invoice that time itself it will hit the so and your so will be changed to awaiting billing awaiting billing in the sense only your so is ready for your uh, ar invoice so then your ar invoice will be created and will be delivered to you and you will receive receipt will be created and it will be applied to the ar invoice so this process is done once your 10 days of uh, refund time gone they will pay to your against the ap invoice they will pay to the supplier or else if you initiate some refund from receipt level they will initiate refund that refund uh, goes to the ap ap team will pay you the amount and they will cancel this invoice and create a credit memo against the supplier this is a big process this is called as drop shipment po okay this big process where which pro, which engine is taking care your dovo is taking care this is for your information i'm telling all those things the dovo means this is what it's coming from a so okay there is drop shipment po concept there is no concept of drop shipment uh, so right so that's the reason uh, it's only available dovo is available importing only your ar invoice okay now coming to our transaction source this is coming from this okay see the type it is important okay let me create one one second please again set select your set based on your business unit set assignment setup and then legal entity name description this one if you keep manual you can create only manual invoice using this transaction so if you create import you can import only in invoice you cannot create manual invoice okay then see manual means less option i will come to import uh, active from date to date automatic transaction numbering or manual numbering if automatic transaction numbering means this is mandatory what is your first transaction number the last transaction number is your first transaction number right now disable this it is not available the receipt handling credits how to handle my receipt credits on put let me put it on on account uh, or refund on account in the sense future there may be some more invoices created by the customer right should i pay use this receipt at the time or refund to it's your purely based on your customer requirement some customer will say put it on account when i purchase something in future i will use this no no refund my amount now i will send i will purchase if anything purchase i will purchase in future that one option you can copy document number to transaction source yesterday i explained one uh, scenario right uh, from ar we faced some challenges between the uh, numbering so this option will be used if you enable this only your document sequence number will be copied to your ar invoice number then allow duplicate transaction number or not then uh, copy transaction information flexible to credit memo when you are creating credit memo dff should be transferred to this or not control transaction completion when i want to control transaction completion this is one reference uh, i will come to this one when we are doing this particular transaction create transaction through fbda okay if for fbda it is very important like ap invoice fbda yesterday we saw right uh, there is a invoice id which is linked between your header sheet with your line sheet here there is no id and all there is this dff interface attribute 1 2 3 dff will be there based on the dff only your header and line will be linked we'll see that in fbd you want to for this source you want to this dff for this source you want to use this dff means default it here that's it and again to default your credit transaction shows credit default your transaction type region information that's it so it's a manual when change to import i'll get more options okay there will be more don't confuse don't ever think this are more difficult very simple auto invoice option again your grouping rules right see if you have uh, 10 different uh, invoices shall i group send different sales, sales order shall i group into single invoice and pay it or not so that one create clearing allow sales sales credit shall i allow or not invoice line 
இஃப் ஏ கம்ஸ் எனி இன்வாலிட் லைன் கிரியேட் இன் வாய்ஸ் ஆன் ரிஜெக்ட் ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்டேஜ் ரிஜெக்ட் டோன்ட் கிரியேட் எனி இன் வாய்ஸ் அக்கௌண்டிங் டீடெயில்ஸ் க்ளோஸ் மீன்ஸ் ஆல்சோ ரிஜெக்ட் டோன்ட் அட்ஜஸ்ட் அட்ஜஸ்ட் மீன் இட் வில் கிரியே அட்ஜஸ்ட் அண்ட் கிரியேட் இன் யுவர் ஓப்பன் பீரியட் ஓகே ஸோ தட்ஸ் இட் அபவுட் திஸ் ஒன் திஸ் ஒன் சே திஸ் ஒன் வெரி சிம்பிள் வென் யூ ஆர் ஃபில்லிங் அப் யுவர் எஃபிடிஐ ஃபைல் ஓகே ஒன் செகண்ட் இட் டசன்ட் ஹாவ் திஸ் ஓகே வென் யூர் ஃபில்லிங் அப் யுவர் எஃபிடிஐ ஃபைல் சப்ளேயர் நம் நேம் வாட் வி ஃபில்ட் அப் யூ வி வாண்டட் யுவர் சப்ளேயர் நேம் but in this it's quite different is this is a built to customer right if you give value you have to input your customer name or if you give id you have to input id generated from the back end it, it will be unique id unique id generation okay, you cannot use a name anymore so all this options same inventory item transaction type can, can i give my transaction type name or not or id so always keep it to value it is recommended i think uh, dovo uses id i guess let us check hmm dovo uses id for some cases the sales person it is set to number reason is sales person number is recommended instead of id they uses id they are gen- interface right nothing the, we will provide they will take care of that uh, integration programs will take care of that so when we create any transaction source for your data migration and all use values okay clear team on transaction source and transaction type any doubts two most important setup those no doubts okay then i will move to auto accounting rule team are you clear right we are going in a good track or we lost somewhere Honestly, we are in good country. Uh, this value and ID, uh, value means it's a free text field. That's what you are trying to say, right? It's not a free text field. It's okay, very simple. Uh, your, what is your customer? OnePlus is your customer, right? So, in the front end, you have created OnePlus. When you try to, in the Excel sheet, just provide the customer name. It is not free. FB day is everything free text field. Nothing is list of ideas, right? But that customer name, whatever you are providing, it should be available in front end. But in... if i keep id means what it will happen you have to provide id id in the sense for each and every invoice for each and every customer your table will have a unique id got it okay okay so that id you have to get from the back end and you have to use it okay so now it is not uh, uh, like uh, our setup or it is a pure technical thing correct right? Okay. We have to give the ID from the back end. Yeah, thank you. Coming to auto accounting rule. You know, we put end to end st- uh, set up. One second, team, one second. Coming to auto accounting rule. Okay, let us see a auto accounting rule for a particular business unit. okay so these are your account types okay there are more account types on my mind i think there should be more some more yes totally 1 2 3 4 8 12 account types will be there okay they are set up only for seven account types there are 12 account types for each of your 12 account types you can decide where each and every segment should come from in your chart of account okay let's see this one also let me delete this let's see our receive revenue team any doubt stop me and ask this this is one of the important setup many issues will come in this okay so revenue this is your chart of account right the segments are your chart of account that you understood it's very simple okay now coming to what he is saying here company value bring it from transaction type or sales person or at your customer site or from my memo line setup okay where should i bring bring from re- my revenue company segment not your complete combinations only company segment what this guy have given here company location cost center account bring from transaction source and future sub account future pro- product put a constant value any transaction put this constant value that's it 
Got it, team. What is this accounting setup? Auto accounting. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Perfect. So for e everything receivables. See, as I told, receivables will not be from transaction type. It will be purely from your customer side. Okay. This guy, everything given as a uh, transaction type. Tax. Tax also is speaking from time. Everything is speaking from transaction type. Okay. This is wrong. So wherever you want, you can customize. Okay. So these values you will provide at each level as i told you can provide your combination even though you are providing a combination there this setup will tell you where i want to pick each and every segment and how to account so that's it that's it about your auto accounting group okay team no doubts i will move to next yeah yeah sure So done. Then, okay, we will touch base this tomorrow. This is a big. Uh, well, see, it will take more time. Okay, you have to understand the key concepts. Payment terms, approval limits. Okay. We will see receivable activities. Click on plus as you saw account types are different right like that there are more activity types adjustment bank error bills receivable fund credit card refund charge back claim refund earned discount late charge mistake charge payment prepayment short term debt onion discount receipt rate of all your uh, these all your adjustment activity if you want you use all this adjustment activity create create if it is 12 means Four, eight, 15. 15 receivable activities are there. So if you want to use all the receivable activities, create 15 receivable activities. Right? So then let's see the other set of business unit activity type. GL account source. Okay. Where should my GL account get picked from? Activity GL account. One second. Let me select account BU. From this from this one or from my revenue on my invoice. See revenue on my invoice means whatever your revenue is there, that one this will hit. This adjustment will hit. Okay, or my tax code on the invoice. From the tax code, pick up my account. Always keep it to activity GL unless until you want to pick any account combination from here. Okay. Provide a activity GL account. Tax rate code source. Okay, from the activity. From the activity or from the invoice. Which invoice? Yes, uh, sorry. Which tax rate code is used at the invoice level? Use the same or use from this activity. Default the rate from this activity. Okay, none means none, no tax rate code. That's it. So, this is your receivable activity. Any doubts in this? Okay, fine. So, that's it about your receivable activity. Okay, we will use everything while we do transaction. We will see that scenarios also. Okay, coming to approval limits. Okay, approval limits in the sense this is not your approval from BPM. This is not see BPM approval. What you will say based on the user. The, uh, this user creates means go approval should go to this user. This user creates means approval to go. This is BPM. This is different case for this user. For this document type, if you want to do adjustment or if you want to do a credit memo refund, if you want to do a write-off, he has to have these limits. On each and every currency, if you want to do in a four different currency, you have to plus 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 do for four currency USD. Minimum amount, maximum amount. Okay. If this is not done, we cannot do we cannot do your adjustment or we cannot do your receipt write-off. We cannot do anything. And one more thing, you cannot define your own approval limits. You cannot create or update your own approval limits. Okay, some other user has to do for you. Okay.
okay if you are trying to create approval image uh, go to security console create one more user give him the application implementation access and then define approval limits for you no other option create him on approval limits okay so that's it about your approval limit okay um, that's it we will end our session today tomorrow we will start with our receivable payment term and this important thing it may look a simple setup but uh, we have to understand the different type of receipts how it process uh, receipt status is there receipt state is there it will different based on receipt status and the combo of your receipt status your accounting entry will also change we'll see that completely by tomorrow okay. any doubts team in your uh, today's session No, no, sure. Okay, I can think. Uh, I can see very low voices. Guys, understood, right? Each and every setups. No, but we have to practice. Then only we can be able to. Correct. correct. So anything means you have to practice. But conceptual wise, why we are using this? Why we are using this? You understood, right? That's fine. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, okay. so to give a practice. This one you will. Uh, you have to remember. Reason is. There are more setups in accounts receivable and important module also. Okay, okay sure. Okay. Yeah, no other doubts means we can follow up the session. Uh, okay, Sri I have doubt in the AP. Our initial session. How to cancel that line? Ah, zero line, zero line, right? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, my doubt also similar. Actually, I just want to know that a zero payment uh, there is some concept is right in AP. Ah, uh, could you please explain one second? Actually, I am not to uh, uh, think so. Zero payment. So first of all, you have to enable, you enable zero payment in that account. Okay. So then, when you go to AP, you will have a invoice and you will have a credit memo, right? When you create a manual credit memo from our side, your credit memo is there and your AP invoice is there, right? Can you pay your AP invoice? You cannot pay because it is cancelled. You are not going to pay anything to your supplier, and your credit memo is also now opened. It, its status will also be here unpaid this status will also be an unpaid but you cannot really pay this to the supplier so my thousand minus thousand will create a payment attached credit memo and ap invoice so your balance will be zero uh, you have to enable that at bank level you, you you will make a zero payment to just to do knock off your unpaid credit memo and unpaid invoice okay uh, then then this zero payment will appear on uh, in this one like uh, PPR. Uh, it will appear right in zero payment basis. Yes, PPR also will appear. Okay. 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 Fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this one. How to cancel zero? Cancel zero line. Hello. This one is not enabled. How to cancel the zero line? Okay. Now move on. Sorry. Uh, we will. We'll see this one at first of your uh, tomorrow session. Okay. Okay. Sorry. For that. Uh, okay. One more doubt. Like, uh, I guess uh, yesterday or uh, two days before one session, we saw about uh, supply to set up allow international payments flag uh, enable right uh, at the account level. At least at your supply level. Ah, uh, at your supply level, right? So. Uh, and also we have faced one error like either you have to populate bank name or ba bank number oh, that's okay. error, it's your message. warning something mm -hmm. uh, uh, so uh, is it possible is there any way to enable for uh, uh, like uh, multiple suppliers at the same time or we have to uh, go on to each supplier and we have to enable that no why you want to go to each supplier and enable you missed it out while creating it. Um, like I risk like a uh, customer. So simple. See, you have to go on enable or else uh, 
have a FBDFA, supplier FBDFA is all right. There is an insert uh -huh. option called update. Okay. Provide already bank account is, if your bank account is created, put your supplier name, put your bank account number and uh, change the insert option to update and populate the allow international column as Y and update it. So, 1000 suppliers also if you know, it will update your 1000 supplier bank account, allow international payment enabled. Okay, through FBDA we can enable for multiple supplier. Correct, correct, through FBDA we can enable. You have to populate correct supplier name, correct bank account number and most important, keep your insert flag as U, otherwise uh, it will create extra bank accounts. U, U. Okay. Anything else? Moon, anything else from your side? I'm not saying nothing, nothing from my side. Oh, okay, okay. So, Ganesh? No, Steve. Okay. Fine for me. Everyone fine, right? Okay. okay, so our link is not working. I will share a new link with you. Guys, no. Okay. Uh, in a WhatsApp, I will put a new link. Okay, thank you. Let's meet tomorrow. Thank you.